Okay, so now let's code depth first search in order. Just like we did before, I'm gonna bring up our tree and our call stack and we'll start coding this, DFS in order. And we're going to have a results array like that. Now I'm gonna bring in the function that we use for pre-order. This is what it looked like for post-order. This is what it looks like for in-order. So it's all the same code, just written in a different order. Then I'll call this function with the root like this, which puts that on the call stack. First thing we do is go left, which means we're gonna visit that 21 node and it gets pushed onto the stack. And then the 21 is gonna go left and 18 gets pushed onto the call stack. It's gonna to try to go left. There's nothing to the left of the 18. So we move to this line here and we add that 18 to the array. The 18 tries to go right. There's nothing there. So we pop it from the stack. So now the 21 is at the top of the stack. We already went left. Now we're gonna do the next line, which is to push that value into the array. And then we're gonna go right. So that's gonna push that 27 onto the stack. It's gonna to try to go left. We're going to write that value like this into the array. And it will try to go right. Now that 27 is done. We can pop that from the stack. The 21 is at the top of the call stack now. It's already gone left, it's written its value, it's gone right, and now we can pop that from the stack. The 47 is now the top item on the call stack. It has already gone left, now we can push its value into the array like that. And then it's gonna go right. So we're gonna visit that 76 node, it gets pushed onto the stack like that it's going to go left first, which is the 52 that gets pushed onto the stack. So now 52 is gonna to try to go left, there's nothing there. We'll push the value of the 52 into the array and then try to go right. And now that one is done, we can remove that from the stack. 76 has already gone left. Now we can push the value 76 into the array like this, and then it will go right to the 82. That gets pushed onto the stack. The 82 is going to try to go left. We don't have anything to the left. We push its value into the array like that. And then we go right. There's nothing there. So we can pop that from the stack. The 76 has already gone left and written its value and gone right. So we can pop that. The same is true for the 47. And we pop that from the stack. And the 47 was the original function call, which was the root. The only thing left to do now is to return that results array. So there is our final code. And when we go over to Chrome DevTools, we're gonna build this same tree that we've been using all along, and we will expect to see this array here. So let's flip over to DevTools. So there is our DFS in order method there. And I'll scroll up here. And this is gonna create the same tree we've been using for the last few videos. And this is the array we would expect this to return. So I'll zoom out here and I'll come over here and run this. And that creates our tree. And now I'm gonna run DFS in order. Okay, that gives us our array of those items in order and it matches this array up here and that is our method for depth first search in order.